guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World channel. I received an email asking me how to grow your koi fast. And that is a valid question because I've been in this business for 20 years and I have discovered that in order for us to grow our koi very fast, you have to consider only two factors. The first one is the environment and the second one is the food that you are giving. Now let us discuss the environment. I would like to tell you that the natural environment for the koi is really that needed. Meaning that if you have the mud pan like this, this is one of the best ways to grow your koi very fast. And as you can see here, we have thousands of tilapia, thousands of Japanese koi, and even thousands of this red tilapia given to us from the government. And you will see that they're already big. And the koi that we have dropped in here are also now very big. And I am so fascinated as well because the method or the system of feeding that we have employed here is just so amazing. And one of the food that we are giving, especially to the tilapia and to the Japanese koi, is no other than this one. This is asola. And asola brings forth... Um, good effect in the bodies of our fish and this has fiber that it will allow our fish to grow in a very natural way to grow very fast and to grow healthy so we will feed our japanese koi and tilapia over there it's very advisable to give a zola to our native fish here even this japanese koi will eat um Azola and this is a good diet for our fish because it will give them and boost their immune system of course they will not get overfed with this because this is very easy to digest and it has a natural vitamins that will enhance their immune system and eventually fast growth and you will see that the azola that we have here are naturally produced from the from the water of the fish tank and this is quite uh, effective in so far as lessening the expenses for our food because the production of our azola is just very cheap if you have the fish tank then you can grow your azola and you need not any more other ingredients or other vitamins to grow your azola just use the water from your tank You know guys, if you are a farmer and you are able to discover the cheapest food, then I can recommend Azola is the best. The cheapest natural food that you can give to our fish like the geese, the chickens, and the fish. And growing Azola is not anymore a secret, but I have the best formula and solution for the fast growth of this Azola. I would like to repeat that once more. It's just simply using the water from your fish tank and no more, no less. You have to use your water from the fish tank and grow your azola. You don't need cow dung, you don't need chicken dung, you don't even need fertilizer. What you only need is the water from your pond because the water from your pond can naturally 
grow your azola uh, so come on let's go over there and we will have an update of the circular tank made of tarpaulin that we have just finished and you will see the amazing catfish that are already there inside come on let's go So the circular tank has now 2,500 catfish of this size, 3 inches to 4 inches. And we are making a study because I am supposed to put this in the mud pond, but since I've heard also and have seen a lot of videos about other vloggers that the catfish can also be raised in this manner, then I am giving a try. And if this is going to work, of course, I will tell you that this is going to work. But it seems that it's going well. But the only downside of this is the um, integrity of the tarp that we are actually using here. So you will see that this is not that durable compared to the concrete tanks. And uh, I am supposed to um, make a study and of course let you know about this but if you are looking for a very cheap tank that can cater volumes of fish thousands of fish and you have not that enough budget you can still start with it with the tarp and as what i've earlier mentioned in my previous videos it only costs us around eleven thousand eight hundred so including the labor cost so it is quite cheaper compared to um you know putting up some concrete tanks made of hollow blocks and cement so now i'm so eager to make an update of our catfish and we will do this because just last night we were able to segregate around 10,000 baby catfish and now you're gonna witness how many fry do we have produced out of the natural breeding so we will go there and you will see what will happen come on let's go You guys can see that we have here hundreds of thousands of catfish. I should say that literally because last night we were able to transfer more than 10,000 of these catfish. And uh, this is actually the product of our natural breeding process. And we are actually now doing the first uh, sizing. And uh, this method is delicate because they will be disturb a lot then they will die like this one so catfish are fragile especially when they are still very small and we are doing this very carefully so that this catfish will survive and uh, we will now lift this one and transfer this to the tank that we have prepared for them and in the future maybe next uh, month or before Christmas we are trying to make a very large pond for our catfish. Making of that will be, of course, vlog. And we will give you the full details of that mega tank that we're gonna make before Christmas. So we will lift this up. The Transfer all this baby catfish 
right here. So you have seen the result of the effort that we have used or employed here and the methods, the techniques are all revealed. In Dexter's world, there is no secret. That's why if you are longing to breed your catfish, you can browse all my videos and we discuss in detail the method of natural breeding and also the water tank preparation, the tank preparation itself many many more secrets that are actually revealed and you can browse all our videos about catfish all our videos about chickens all our videos about birds all our videos about fish tilapia japanese koi breeding goldfish name it even beta and oscar fish you can name it it's all there in our previous vlogs so thank you guys for watching if you are not subscribed to this channel may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we're uploading videos very regularly and i would like to thank you all especially the members of the channel for supporting us and for giving us the reason to continue this vlog so i would like to see you in my next video only here at dexter's world